Hi, this video is going to be very short and this video is going to be only for those of you who don't really know how to configure the computer settings. Why do you have to watch this video? Let me give you an example. You've been to the local shop, you have purchased a brand new laptop and now you're back home. At the moment your computer is working perfectly and without any problems, but with the time your computer might get corrupted and you may lose very important system files or personal files or any other sensitive information. If that happens, then you're gonna have to have a place uh, from where you can restore those lost files. And for that reason, you have to create backup, backup of your files, backup of your system files. Uh, normally, if in the shop where you have purchased the computer, the people there will offer you their services to create that backup drive of your files. But of course, you're going to have to pay for that service. And if you watch this video, you will find, you will see the very simple steps how to perform that backup without paying uh, anything for those IT services. And so you can save also some money and learn something new. So what do you have to do? Once you have started your computer, you simply need to open the control panel. Here you choose backup and restore option. And here opens the window with uh, the options for the backup. Here, here is some general information on the backup uh, run, run previously and now I have to choose the options. I want to change those settings. Now here I can choose the destination where I can save those files as backup. My first option is for example the DVD drive. If I have a CD, I can save the files on that CD and so I can use that CD as a backup. Another option is that volume E. Here I have uh, that amount of free space. However, the system warns me that uh, the free space is not enough for the system image for that backup. Obviously, I have more than 103 gigabytes of files which I want to backup. And if I start that option, uh, at some point I will receive a message that I have exceeded that limit. And I'm gonna have to switch to another location where I can create that backup. However, for the purposes of that video, I will simply choose any destination in order to show you. Now we go on next. The first option is the recommended one. Windows will save all the files in the libraries on the desktop and in the default Windows folders. For those files, I will create the backup. First, we will check that option and a little bit later, I will show you the second one. So now I have to choose next. And here is a short summary of uh, the backup. So the destination location is that volume and all the files from here and here will be saved on that volume. And once I choose the option save settings and run backup, the system will start saving those files on that volume. Uh, however, here I have a very interesting option. I can create a schedule for that backup so that it can run on a regular basis. So let me check this option. I can choose the backup to be daily, weekly or monthly. I can choose the day. It could be Monday, Tuesday. For example, I have chosen Saturday and I can even choose a particular time during the day. I will leave, I will keep now those settings. But I will not start the backup because I want to show you the second option. So I will choose cancel. I will run the options again, once again. Let me choose again that option and go on next. Now, this is the option where I will be able to choose manually 
the files which I would like to backup. All I have to do is to click next. And once I have clicked next, the system will give me those options. I can choose all the files from C drive and all the files from E drive and all the files from G drive and all the files stored here. So now I have chosen that I want all the files on my drive to be backed up. And I can also include a system image of the drives for, for additional recovery options. Of course, I will choose that option as well and I will go on next. And again, this is a little summary of the drives which uh, I will back up. Again, I have this option to create a schedule to have that backup running on a regular basis. And once I have clicked here, I will the system will start backing up those files. And in that way, this is actually everything you need to know about how to backup your files. In that case, you can do that by yourself. You don't have to pay additional uh, money for IT services. And for any other cool, cool videos, you can visit us here. Thanks for watching.